so this came a few days ago, and uh, I didn't even I didn't even think about putting it in uh, my budget testing when I did order it. I'll be honest, I ordered it because I I've wanted to try one for quite some time, and it just so happened to be twenty one dollars. It's cheaper than I had seen them before, so I went ahead and picked it up. But we are going to go ahead and test it. AUS 8A. See how well it does against the other ones that I did. And uh, also go ahead and give it a carry at work for a little while. See how it does. It's not so bad for what it is. I'm not big on later early lockup. I mean, as long as it's as long as it's solid, and this thing is rock solid. I will say though, this came out of the box with a much better action than this did. And uh, as far as I can tell, they they look to use about the same the same washers. I'm guessing since they're both made in Taiwan by Ontario, they're they're made in the same factory, but you know, not that the Brat one was bad when I got it, but it just wasn't quite as smooth as the Utilitac is. So here's another one for the test. I'm going to test it here any day now, and we'll go ahead and get the results and add them in with all the rest. I also got this Benchmade Freak. I honestly can't say why I why I even wanted to check it out. I mean, I can't really find any bad about it. I'm hoping Benchmade is finally over their hump of poor quality. It isn't perfectly centered but it's solid you know no lock rock or anything the action I didn't mess with it came straight out of the box like that I don't mind the rubber grip as much as you would think uh, I could see where it might be a problem with jeans but I wear Dickies type shorts that are kind of like that work pants material and uh, you know it takes just a the tiniest bit more effort to get it in my pocket it comes out just like any other knife does but there is something about this and I I don't even know what it is I can't really put my finger on it but I'm I can't find anything bad to say about it, but I'm not quite so sure that it's for me yet. So I am going to give it a a fair a fair chance and see whether or not it's going to stick around. This also came to me recently. I'm not much of an auto guy. You know, I have a cheap Lightning. I was gifted uh, SogTac Automatic, and it's they've just never really been my thing. So I'm also gonna also gonna carry this for a while and see if it's uh, something I want to get further into. And besides this being an automatic, I'm not big on aluminum handled knives. So that's a that's another thing. So it's it's kind of a kind of a more than one thing to see if it's something I'm actually going to like. And also with the testing, 
the gonzo that I had modified. I did end up acid washing it, and I'm not sure if you can see, you know, up in some of these areas, even the liners when I did them, it's like there's some impurities in the steel because there's some spots that just the color isn't even remotely close to the rest of the the color in the steel, you know, down here by the tip. Even on the pocket clip. There's a bunch of little spots. But I had resharpened it. I already did 250 cuts through cardboard with it. And the acid wash seems to be holding up just fine. It does lighten up a little bit when cutting through the cardboard. But it, you know, it, it just wipes right off with your finger like that. So I'm going to continue cutting with this and see if there is an actual failure point or how much cutting does it actually take before there's a noticeable difference in the acid wash on the steel. So that's another one. So that's it. Just a quick little update this morning. And I'm um, hoping to get some of these done in the next few days and get some more results up. And hopefully see if I can't add a few more budget steals that I didn't get a chance to do onto the rest of those tests. You guys take care.